Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to talk about Prometheus. It's a monitoring system and time series database. It is also a open source monitoring solution. Before this, we have discussed about what is Prometheus and how it is giving importance to the market and what is the emergent point to the Prometheus and then difference between Nagios versus Prometheus and how the name Prometheus from history is adapted like that we have seen and uh, what under uh, available sources to study further those things also we have given some links and documents uh, ebooks all those things we have discussed in this session we are going to talk about architecture alert manager time series database these three are theoretical and there is uh, nothing like practical part we are going to take but these three are more important to go ahead and do uh, for this session so let's see architecture in this architecture the Prometheus part is only this much this Prometheus has time series database inside it and it collects the information from the targets like if you want to monitor some hundred servers or your applications and uh, the suppose that doesn't have pull mechanism and you can apply push gateway from your end and via that it will collect and send it to the Prometheus server. Also this can be again used for Grafana and you can apply a lot of from calculus uh, whatever the way you want to so in the future means to the dashboard and to take care of that and in case if you want to alert something wrong or if we all is fine all those things can be monitored by alert manager so what exactly we are taking care of is the push gateway Prometheus server alert manager and even Prometheus has built-in web GUI but yes it is good for when you are going for multiple servers monitoring and of course the Grafana is better to choose and here two things to be uh, remember is push and pull what is the difference between push and pull push means you can see here the individual instance push data every to every 10 seconds that means you have a mountain solution and the server target servers used to send the data every 10 seconds it is sending the data this is one way the other way is the server goes and fetch the data to the target server that means the Prometheus is trying to go to the target server and they get the data so that is this difference but there is no major uh, advantage disadvantage between the push and pull but yes there are slight uh, better in pull way but again why they adapted all those things are out of part out of our syllabus so Prometheus is using the pull mechanism and it goes and fetch the data in case there is a problem there is a gateway that will get that data and keep it and again that will push it so this is the main architecture and let's move into the explanation I, I think so in this suppose the target server you can define it can be a one second one minute ten minute whatever the way you want to configure you can configure that you go and put it in your database in this database uh, that will become into your local disk or you can put it. then the grafana or whatever uh, Prometheus GUI you are using that you will be defining the Prometheus queries this query goes and fetches the database based on the query and get the data and it will show in the dashboard the same way the alerts based on the condition uh, it will check the database if the condition is met it will pop the alarm that same you can use pager duty or email whatever the notification method you want you can put integrate it and then you can see it so from this scraps matrix from the instrumented job either directly or via interim you need to push gateway so if the direct part part is not possible then I can go for intermediate push gateway by sort load jobs so it's all the scrap number locally and runs all over pulling is slightly better than pushing for case where you must push we offer push gateway occasionally you will need to monitor components on the scrap plane. so this also possible the limitation limitation it these data whatever is collected in the database db shouldn't be used for building purpose 
Other person asks the collected data will likely not be detailed and complete enough. Maybe not detailed, but the data couldn't be the correct, and you can't claim for billing purpose. Yes, of course, sometimes you can cross verify, but there we are telling as a not to use for billing. Okay. So one thing is that no cluster so reliability. See, as it is a individual one box system, what about the reliability? So if you are not sharing the information with other database, other cluster part, what uh, if it goes down? What what will happen? So what the Prometheus offer is that go and put two identical Prometheus server and go and scrap it. Maybe this every ten minutes if you want to scrap. It five minutes here, five minutes, uh, five minutes here after five minutes here, like that also you can do. But yes, there is no cluster possibility. You have to ensure by running to prompt the server in that case. As it's a monitoring solution, there shouldn't be like you're like that. They were thinking also having single prompt this instance per cluster is a single point of failure. Any configuration or hardware failure could potentially result in loss of important insights. So, this is one thing. And yes, you can take a backup, you can keep the data, or you can move to other database, other servers, those things and all you can take care. But there is no cluster possibility. But after the Prometheus, the other companies, Thanos and Probable Sidecare, they have a broader solution to provide a cluster possibilities. So for more details, you can go and read this website, how in which way they are offering this cluster possibility in theory Prometheus is not giving but yes possible by achieving Thanos improper sidecar federation federation is a single Prometheus server can easily handle millions of time series that's enough anyway but as it can go future evaluation so they are offering hierarchical and cross service method or federations that means the Prometheus server A can log into some servers and check some service and Prometheus servers B can log into some servers and check some service even it can be same server it can be different server but I can put the data here then finally I will use that PromQL queries filter it out and then put it into Prometheus global so you can have a branch of Prometheus servers and one global servers to do that this is a hierarchical federation example diagram and cross service cross service is like Prometheus A and Prometheus B is deployed and Prometheus is monitoring some servers Prometheus B also monitoring some service even it can be same server or different server but finally it is giving data to the Prometheus service B and this will validate and then it can so Prometheus server one of the services configured to scrap selected data from another service Prometheus server to enable alerting and queries again both data sets within the single server so from this you will get some data from this you will get some data and you will have data sets within the single server for more things you can buy a book and you can read more detailed things okay alert manager alert manager has three things in this grouping inhibition silence in Nagios you can stop alarm but yes here Suppose there is an alarm has popped out and people started working on it. But what happened? The grouping, uh, there will be millions of, not millions, consider thousands of mails will come. This server is down, this service is down, this application is down like that. Or else 500 mails, 200 mails keep on coming and it will fill your inbox and even the service. So, traffic, all those things will be impacted. That is the reason what alert manager is useful during larger outage when many systems fail at once and hundreds to thousands of alerts may be fired simultaneously. But grouping can filter it out and set few whatever based on your configuration, one or hundreds, whatever the limitation. In the concept of suppressing notifications, some alarms are not necessary to send to all wider people, and sometimes you can restrict. All those things suppressing or doing certain alert if certain others are already firing suppose the both alarm can be simultaneous because two service one service consider one service is running depend on server a and server b 
if the server is not running server is also popping up the alarm server will be also popping that alarm in this case you can send only one by suppressing it so this way also you can configure silence or side for a way to simply mute some alarms are necessary you can silence it so how this you can integrate is like you can integrate it to email lip chart whatever is available you can and if you want to integrate you can as a developer you can integrate with others also because as it is open source so that way is also possible i am not come uncommon question about promises is why the alert manager is separate binary to make promises high level will run identical promises server on two or more separate machine identical alert will be duly implemented by alert manager okay why the alert manager is separate binary Uh, because not in in same binary uh, to make promises highly available you can run two service in two identical alert managers like this data center data center then only one alert manager and it can give the alert it can also give alert by grouping you can send to notification so this is the way of attachment time series database time series database what is time series the value of something tracked over time so consider this uh a best example is temperature at 1 o'clock it was some 30 degree at 2 o'clock it was some 31 degree uh, at 3 o'clock it was something like something that over the time the values gets changes it can be 28 29 or whatever so these are the values it vary right there could be temperature once a day or it occurs to your ap once a minute that will be look like so the value will be t0 t1 t2 t3 will be standard like every 5 minutes every 10 minutes so like this the data will be there this v0 v1 v2 v3 can be during that time it can be high low whatever so these datas i will be stored as a key value pair in time series database you can't update you can't delete anything only you can see that also you can't log in and uh, modify anything so that that is how the time series database is constructed and the fundamental is the same as one of the open uh, time so time series database there is already the open tsp dbs fundamental they adapted not only earlier they used also but now they are using tsdb prometheus includes a local on disk time series database but also specially integrated with the remote storage you can use local on disk only if this local on disk is less you can absolutely integrate with the remote storage but yes it will take care you can configure it based on the availability 1 gb 2 gb whatever available ingested samples are grouped into block of 2 hours every 2 hours the group and the data will be kept as like this 1 2 3 like that and each 2 hour block consists of directory containing one or more chunk files and that contain all time series variable for that window of the time as well as metadata file index files all those things will be there the deleted records are stored in the dump store instead of deleting the data immediately from the chunk file suppose this is like a uh, recycle bin in our desktop so the data has are put it into the dump store when the spaces are more utilized maybe it will delete from the dump store further the linear logos register that these not cluster or replicate and using raid for disk availability snapshots of backup capacity planning etc is recommended for improved durability alternatively external storage may be used by a remote read write apis yes this is the one thing that as there is no cluster involved no replication possibilities you have to take care by using raid for disk availability snapshots for backup weekly twice thrice whatever daily basis how ever you want you got to plan hope you all know what is dump store yes this is called dump store okay Time series admin configuration. Something we can see is that there are APIs, exposed database functionality for advanced users, not enabled unless the if you are not up while while starting the Prometheus, you have to apply this. Once you give this, you can do all these things in GUI basis only. No need to backend modification all those things. So you just enable it or else you can ignore. And uh, there are several flags that allow configuration local storage. You can determine how much you want. what is the path it will take automatically to do data default as a data folder inside the prometheus and it will give 15 days as a default everything has they have made as a some defaults value and you can increase decrease change whatever you want using this 
extension while starting the prompt this and the tsp storage as follows you can use this only uh, ls ls file you can give it will tell what is the minimum time and maximum time a number of samples captured in that how many chunks are there how many series are there so that means so many uh, data i have captured on based on this timing over this time so you can't you have to use from ql query to read it out so that's it from this session technically the technical part we have covered how how architectures have been kept and uh, designed and the push pull mechanism we have discussed and then there is no cluster possibilities hence we have to take care by taking backup and whatever and there are even we have uh, solutions available for cluster by which is given by thanas in probable side care and federations even you have federation possibilities integrated with the two so two prompts server like a branch then it integrated into global the same way you can possible via cross service then give to service a and the, from the service a prompt is b you'll get data via that and uh, there is alert manager which has lot of inbuilt features which like grouping inhibition silence and from this and the alert manager binary is separate because you can integrate two three from this from that you can group it into du duplicate filter it out and send and send them mail that is also possible and time series database is like key value pair based on time one time two time three the how the value is getting changed best example is temperature at this point what is the temperature at this point what is the over the chart you will get a graph and you can find out the future task all those things and admin configuration you can change uh, uh, to enable uh, to see it in the uh, gui only using this configuration also you can change the path how many days to retain what is the size to keep all those things you can change the flag enable compression or read a lot depending on your data you can expect the wl size to be all while it will extra cpu loads so these are all configurations applicable that can be changed or whatever you can see and you can see the size of each samples how much it has chunks and number of series how much it has what is the start time end time all those things in a simple manner we can see but yes using this nothing Visible for you, but as a admin purpose, it will be useful for you to daily or whatever or how to keep the days like 15 days is enough or not. Can we increase it based on the size utilization? All those things you can design. So this is just for admin purpose. That's it from this session. We'll see um, from Kiel in the next session uh, as it is very important, and that is how going to be. Uh, like you can tell this is the most important part in prompts once we learn prompt uh, we'll be very strong in from the uh, prompts part also after that we'll be seeing the demo sessions so that's it thank you